Hey, sweetie, how's work going? Eh, it's whatever. Some guy came in wanting a naked mermaid tattoo. Oh, really? Isn't that like the second guy this week? Must be popular. No, the first guy wanted a naked she-devil in a tutu, a full back. Oh, that's right. He showed me the design he was after, and it was... elaborate, to say the least. I told him I wasn't quite sure that any of our artists felt comfortable taking on something of that... Uh, scope. Even Larry? Doesn't he sort of specialize in weird creatures on people's backs? Cryptids and the like? He's booked. Ah. Well, speaking of booked, my sister's flight comes in at 9 tomorrow, so I'm going to pick her up from the airport at 8. Wow, 8. Isn't that a little early for her? What do you mean? Well, I mean, she usually works nights, is all. Well, I guess the... <sighs> club let her off early last night. So how's that going? Has she saved up enough money for college by taking her clothes off in public yet? So judgmental. And I don't know, who knows? I'd rather not think about it, to be honest. I can't say I blame you there. If my brother was a Chippendales dancer, it would probably be a no-go topic for me. If your brother was a Chippendales dancer, I'd assume they'd have fallen on very hard times. Hey, it's tough out there, you never know. Well, anyway, not to sound like I'm nagging or anything, but is the guest bedroom all ready to go? Yes, yes, I put out all her special pillows, the hyperallergenic blankets, the white noise machine, lavender essential oils, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, thank you. That's a load off. I don't want a repeat of last time when the oil burner thing was low. I ordered a new one. It came last week. It's all good. Okay, good, good. So, uh, what else? Well, I guess we'll be going out to dinner tomorrow night, the tradition when she comes into town and all. Oh, yes, our tradition of going out to eat and me always getting stuck with the bill. I know, I know, but she's a student, you know. She doesn't have the money to treat us all the time. I'm not saying all the time, but once would be nice. And also, it's not like that Saudi royal boyfriend of hers doesn't keep her rolling in dough. Come on, he's not royal. Well, he has a fleet of Lamborghinis on top of his penthouse. Well, I don't know. We have no real proof, so what's the difference? I'm just saying, you aren't on social media, but you should see what she posts. The life she's apparently living... But if we go to lunch or dinner, she always conveniently leaves her wallet at home. Yeah, I've uh, kind of picked up on that a little bit the last few times. And I know that I make good money, but it's not enough to pay for her all the time. And I'm not exactly raking in the big bucks these days, am I? I'm sorry about that. Oh, Levi, it's okay. You'll figure it out. Plus, we have my salary. But anyway, I'm sorry. I just get stressed when she comes to visit. Or, you know, uh, anyone comes to visit, I mean. You mean anyone that comes to visit from my side of the family? Oh, come on, honey, that's not what I meant. Don't take it that way, please. No, no, it's okay, I understand. I get it, really. Your family is fun and cool and perfect, and mine is weird and distant, manipulative and controlling and rude, right? Well, um, I'm not saying any of that at all, exactly. I'm just saying that about your sister. <sighs> I know that Kimmy isn't perfect, far from it, but could you at least try to get along with her this weekend? Hey, what do you mean? I always get along with her. I know, I know, but I mean, can you not be so quick to annoyance? Ah, I got you. Well, we'll see, doll. I can't promise you anything. Hey, sis-in-law, how's it going at the shop? Giving a lot of cool tats today. Oh, hey, Kimmy. Yeah, um, well, actually, I'm just doing some paperwork right now. Paperwork? Ugh, gross, I hate paperwork. What kind are you doing? Um, just payroll stuff. Payroll? What's that? Oh, well, it's, um, it's basically the process of paying my employees. Oh, that's right. You're the boss now. I always forget that you own that place now. Uh, that is so exciting. I'm so proud of you, Beatrix. Beatrice, not Beatrix. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. That's totally what I meant. Just a brain fart, seriously. Right. Uh, no problem, Kimmy. Well, I guess I have two bosses. Yeah, I have my manager, Horatio. What a jerk. But my real bosses are my clients. You know, I mean, that's how I make all of my money at Tipsy Tina's. Tipsy Tina's? That's the name of your strip club? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a great name? Um, yeah, sure, I guess. So, who's Tina? Oh, Tina died a long time ago, sadly. She was a dancer, too, but she fell off the stage and broke her neck. Oh. Oh, my God. Yep, so they renamed the club Tipsy Tina's in her honor. Um, wow. Well, I hope they looked into that floor. 
Oh yeah, I guess they fixed it. Plus, heels have come a long way since then. Right, well, thankfully I don't have to wear heels very often for my job. Actually, like, never. <laughs> we'll try thigh-high heeled boots. Those will make you sore in the morning. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, I just wanted to thank you for opening your home up to me for the weekend. I always have such an awesome time here when I come to visit you guys. Oh, well, it's no problem, Kimmy. We really sure do love having you here. And I see you've prepared the room exactly the way I like it, with a noise machine and everything. Well, I've, um, learned my lesson by now. Oh, you're fine. That's no problem at all. Really, though, I do appreciate it. I just can't stand Levi snoring ever since we were younger. Ugh. He always kept me up at night. I don't know how you can stand it. Well, pharmaceuticals help. Oh, well, I haven't tried that yet. I prefer a more holistic approach to ailments. Ailments, sure. Um, yes, well, I did see one problem. A problem? Yes, well, I do believe I asked my brother to get the non-fat lime Greek yogurt, and this seems to be the low fat. Oh, jeez. Well, um, I'm really sorry about that, Kimmy. And also, this is almond milk, not oat milk. Oh, whoops. And this granola is gluten-free, but it is not non-GMO. Oh, that's not good, is it? Levi got my list, correct? The grocery list I sent him the other day? Um, yes. And did he go shopping for them? Or did you? I went shopping for them, Kimmy. Usually Levi does, but he had band practice, so... I messed up. What can I say? I'm sorry. I can stop at the store on the way home. Okay, well, I would really, really appreciate it, Beatrix, because I can't eat any of this. Really? You can't have any of it? No, of course I couldn't. Could you? Well, no, but I couldn't eat any of that crap. <gasps> it's not crap. It's healthy. I eat healthy foods. I exercise and I eat right, unlike some people. Oh, like some people, you mean me? You mean me and Levi? Of course not, but... But what? Well... I'm just having a hard time finding any vegetables in the vegetable drawer. Well, I need to go shopping again, okay? And like I said, I'll be doing that on the way home from the tattoo shop. Well, that's good, because I can't eat this, and I certainly can't eat anything else here. So what, you're just not going to eat all day? I won't be home for like seven hours. Seven? That's it? Oh, that's nothing for me. Oh, uh, okay, great. Yeah, some of the girls at the club don't care about their bodies. They just let themselves go. Chick-fil-A and cupcakes and all kinds of crap back there in the dressing room. It's disgusting, but not me. Um, right. But I'll be plenty hungry for our big dinner then. Oh, right. The big dinner. I've been looking forward to it all week. I love Magello's. Yep, it's a great restaurant. What did I have last time? Uh, King Crab? Um... Maybe I'll go for a filet this time. Or both! Surf and turf, right? <laughs> um, ugh. Hey babe, how's it going? I was thinking of stopping by the shop and bringing you some lunch. What do you want? Jimmy John's? Chipotle? Ugh, I don't know. I'm not so sure I'm hungry after the tattoo I was just working on. Well, don't tell me about it. I don't want to lose my appetite too. But I could stop by anyway. Oh, well, okay. Is your sister with you? Oh, yeah. We're just hanging out today, going shopping and stuff. Right. She loves all those little boutiques on East Hampton Street. You should see what she's racking up on that American Express of hers. Or his. Right. Well, I didn't ask about any of that. Of course, Levi. Why would you? What do you mean by that? I mean, you don't really question anything about your sister when it comes to money, do you? Well, why should I? I mean, it's her life. What business is it of mine? Well, I guess that's true, as long as it doesn't involve us, but I don't know. Aren't you concerned about her? Concerned? Why? What do you mean? What's there to be concerned about? Uh, I don't know. Spending a bunch of money charging some royal prince's credit card for everything? Yeah, so? Well, don't you think that's a little sketchy? A little concerning? Hey, she seems happy. Well, of course she seems happy. She's getting everything she wants. She doesn't get everything she wants. Oh, really? Name one thing she hasn't. Um, well, she didn't get the strawberry cheesecake last night at the restaurant, now did she? And she really wanted that. She didn't get it because she said it would go right to her thighs, not because she didn't want to pay for it. 
She forgot her wallet yet again, remember? Just like I said she would. Well, it was a long day, okay? She'd flown in that morning so early, she was tired and forgot. Big deal. Okay, fine. Make excuses for her like always. I'm not making excuses. I'm making explanations. Yeah, you're making up explanations. Whatever, Beatrice. Did she ever offer to pay for anything today so far? Well, uh, no. Did she offer to pay you anything for the flight here? No. And did you see her face when I asked for the bill to be split last night? Pure entitlement. Like, what? You expect me to pay for my own food for once? Even though it's not like it's her paying for it anyway, it's Hassan. Would you listen to yourself? What? You sound so venomous. Oh, really? Venomous, huh? Yeah, I mean, like, this is really personal. Well, I mean, do you, like, hate my sister or something? What? No, honey, I don't hate your sister. But I'm pretty sure she hates me or resents me or something. Now, what would she have to resent you for? I don't know, maybe being successful on my own, starting my own business, making my own money? Instead of having a guy pay for everything for me. Well, I'm not so sure how interested she is in starting her own business. Yeah, maybe not, but she sees me as someone who's free in ways she feels she can never be. Well, maybe, but she acts pretty free enough in my opinion. Yeah, real free, being reliant on men for everything, either a Saudi prince or some guy at the strip club, some freedom. All she did was forget her wallet, Beatrice. What's the big deal? She did it on purpose because she hates me, Levi. She called me Beatrix, for God's sake. Wait, what do you mean? That's your name. She's saying it with an X, like Trix, not Trice. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And have you corrected her? Yes, of course. I've corrected her over and over again. Wow, that is really weird. I wonder if there's something like wrong with her or something. Um, yeah, I'd say there's something wrong with her, Levi. No, I mean like with her head. I mean to forget something like that, like like a tumor or something. Levi, I think you might have a tumor. Your sister knows my name. She's doing it on purpose just to annoy me. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. I really am trying during this visit. I really hope that you know that. Yeah, and how's that? How have you tried? I've tried to not be royally annoyed by her at every turn, but she just seems to have her heart set on it happening. Well, you won't have to worry about it much longer. She's leaving in the morning. When does her flight leave? 10. I'm taking her there, so one more dinner tonight. Oh, great. Another dinner. Yeah, just one more dinner. Then she'll be out of your hair. Do you think you can handle that? Why, yes, dear. I believe I can. Then I'll take her to the airport and we won't have to deal with this for another year. Just make sure she doesn't forget her wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beatrice, what is your problem with me? Oh, hi, Kimmy. You got my name right. Um, so you made it back home okay? Yes, I made it back home okay. Now, are you going to answer my question? Um, what question was that again? I said, what is your problem with me? I didn't want to say anything about my brother, so I'm saying it now. So you've been kind of storing it up, huh? Yeah, that's right. So go ahead, tell me about it. Unburden yourself. Well, first of all, what was all that last night at the restaurant, huh? Why, whatever are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about you making me pay. I'm talking about you forcing me to pay for everyone's dinner. Well, Kimmy, what were we supposed to do? No one had any money. Oh, so you just conveniently forgot your wallet, ran in to grab it, and accidentally picked up mine instead, huh? Now, why don't you tell me just exactly how that happens? Well, your wallet looks exactly like mine. What can I say? They look nothing alike. Your wallet is cheap and ugly, and mine is designer. Okay, well, whatever, Kimmy. I'll pay you back for Levi and mine's dinner. For, for your dinner only? Um, well, yeah, he's my husband. But what about me? Aren't you going to pay for my dinner, too? Well, why should I? But you always do. Well, yeah, I always do because you're always the one who forgets their wallet. But I always pay you back for that. Actually, no, Kimmy, you've never paid me back once. Not ever. Well, who cares? We're family. He's my brother. Yeah, well, I'm the one paying for your Chilean sea bass. Or should I say, was. But you expect me to pay for that Chilean sea bass? Well, why wouldn't you? You ate it, remember? At market price, if I remember correctly. You don't understand, Beatrice. I 
I can't pay for all of this. What do you mean? You insisted we go to the most expensive restaurant in town after all. No, I mean I'm serious. I can't pay for it. Well, why don't you just get your Saudi prince to put it on his Amex? Because there is no Amex. There is no Amex? No, and there is no Saudi royal prince either. Wait, what are you talking about, Kimmy? Are you saying that... I'm saying that Hassan doesn't exist, okay? Well, he does, but he's not a Saudi prince. He's an old guy who hangs out at the club. His name's Norm. Oh, Norm, I see. So what's Norm the prince of, then? Is that supposed to be funny, Beatrice? He's not the prince of anything. He's my sugar daddy, or was. I don't know. He's running out of money. Oh, I see. You bled him dry, huh? Well, it's not my fault he wasn't responsible with his money. That's right. He gave it all to you. Well, anyway, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, keep dancing, I guess. Just don't fall off the stage. But I don't want to dance anymore. Well, don't you have anything saved up to go to college? No, of course I don't. What am I supposed to do? Tell me what to do. <sighs> well, I don't know what to tell you, Kimmy. You're 23 years old. We can't be telling you how to live your life. Well, it doesn't matter now anyway. It's all your fault anyway. Okay, what's my fault now? That he cut me off. Who? Norm. He's done with me. No more money. You mean no more sugar? No, I give the sugar. The sugar isn't the money. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Don't you know anything? Well, I guess I don't know much about that subject, no. I really hoped to have a good relationship with you, Beatrix. I wanted to have a sister all my life, but now... Don't worry, save your breath. Whatever, just leave me alone, Beatrix, you and my brother. Come on, don't drag him into this, he's your biggest defender. He is? Really? Oh yeah, he has every excuse in the book for your shenanigans. Well, you aren't going to tell him about this, are you? About the sugar daddy? Oh, you mean about Norm? Yes, yes, I mean Norm. Jeez, you don't have to rub it in. Well, I really should. I mean, he's your brother and he cares about you. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I mean, it doesn't matter now, right? Oh, come on, please don't tell Levi about any of this, please. He'll never look at me the same way again. Yep, and I can relate to that. Exactly, and I'm his sister. Imagine how much worse that would be for him. All right, Kimmy, but only because I love my enabling spineless husband so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's conditional, though. Well, okay. Uh, what conditions? Does it really matter? Kimmy was so afraid of Levi finding out about Norm that she agreed to the conditions immediately. She would continue dancing at the club until she had enough money to enroll in community college. She did it and decided to become a phlebotomist. Beatrice kept Kimmy's secret and from then on, whenever she came to town, made sure that her wallet was on her at all times. After a while, Kimmy started to miss the dancing life and decided to go back to it. She started teaching a pole dancing fitness class twice a week. She persuaded Beatrice to join. 